Welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Tanner, and today I'm going to do a quick rundown of a game that we, Dwarven Kager, demoed at Gen Con this year. Had a great time, loved it so much, we all pitched in, bought it. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of it, a little basic guide to it, and I'm also going to do a little review of it. The game is called Death Wish, okay? Definitely check this game out. Today I am drinking a Leinenkugel Summer Shandy because I bought, um, excuse me, I bought... A little sampler pack and they had a lot of them in there so like subscribe hit that little bell at the bottom follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dwarven Kager shenanigans and if you are looking for a way to support the craziness that happens here at Dwarven Kager check out that patreon in the link below also check out Jamba's Twitch also in a link below so this is a fun game that you play with two to eight people where you're trying to die okay and the way you die is you take your hand or your symptoms and you match them to one of these diseases right so basically you have something called an afflictor an afflictor is a card that you can use to basically gain access to one of these diseases so if this was my afflictor card i could have three of these out there i could potentially using this little number up at the top lay two of these symptom cards on my white afflictor to contract this disease, okay? And the way I would do that is if this was my afflictor card, then I use these two symptoms and I would say I get spamorexia because of toddler tantrums, cheesy feet, and a shared toothbrush. And the whole idea of the game is you are trying to collect eight to ten of these faster than everyone else so real fun game real simple game all right you have a little bit of a wild card by things like these they're little outbreak cards and they can kind of change the course of the game you always have an afflictor card and it kind of works in a rummy style that you're constantly taking cards like picking up these two cards and replacing them with two cards from your hand and you're constantly going around changing the state of the board in in a way that you can collect more you know diseases and thereby more skulls all right so they come with these awesome little rule cards you can do one thing you could do one thing a turn and i'll let you guys read that for a little bit but it's a fun little game so you could either spread a disease become afflicted suffer a symptom or contract a disease basically we had a blast with this game and the way this works is that basically you're going round and round and round and each game kind of reaches this tipping point and it's where you know it's very fair i liked it a lot all the guys at Dorvin Kager and our buddy Jacob liked it a lot. Like I said, we immediately went out in on it. This game costs anywhere from $20 to $30. And what you get in the box is you get a nice box, <laughs> which is what that is. Outbreak cards, symptom cards, afflictor cards, disease cards, everything you need to play a game. They do have one, count them, one mess with my focus there you they have one expansion which is a not safe for work expansion it was like five bucks honestly this was one of the first games that we demoed so we were kind of worried about spending too much money up front which you could definitely do at gen con but you know belief in the tooth fairy drool bubbles toddler tantrums these are all very childish kind of joking around i definitely encourage you to be um enjoying an adult beverage while you're playing this game but basically the not safe for work version is the kind of like ooh saucy version almost like the uh, cards against humanity version overall though i'd give this game a four out of five it's a lot of fun it has a lot of playability tonight we're playing it with eight people for the first time i played it with two people we played it for back, back about an hour and then i played it with four people also it's a lot of fun okay the only issue and the only reason i'm not giving it a five out of five is the reason that once you play through it with that set amount of people you've kind of exhausted the playability of it yeah there's different ways to adjust the playability such as instead of eight skulls with two people you could do ten sk skulls or you could do you know different things like that but honestly 
once you've played it through two, three times with a certain set of people, you've kind of exhausted your resources. But for 20 to 30 bucks, that's not a bad game, especially because you could just, you know, the fun part is reading your disease. So I got man flu from forgetting how to breathe and having no fashion sense, you know, theoretically and two others in Afflictor. But you know, that's the fun of it, honestly, is saying silly things and contracting diseases. And what's fun about these outbreak cards is they, they, you know, change the state of the game into such a way where sometimes they prevent you from dying, which is really what you want to do. Um, fun stuff that comes with it. Um, this is, uh, this is pretty fun. I think you could buy more of these. Overall, though, guys, like I said, four out of five, a lot of fun. I would definitely, definitely suggest checking out Death Wish, the game. Let me show you the box. Pretty, pretty compact, pretty cool, pretty self explanatory, fairly easy to pick up. Um, Zafty Games, Sketchy Games, they're the ones who came up with it. Pretty cool. Um, anyway, till next time, guys, check out Death Wish and cheers.